The Rockets are in. How about the Warriors? One half to go to get there. As we bring you in here to our studios in Atlanta, it is the American Express Halftime Report. Casey, Chuck, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaq here on the right, and your American Express teammates as we take a look at what the Warriors have done here in half number one. You want to see the big names step up when you're looking to close out? Chuck, you were looking to see uh, some better energy than what you saw from Houston. What did you see from this trip? Uh, I love the energy. I thought they were a little lackadaisical with the ball. They had too many turns. As normal. Uh, as normal. Yeah. Uh, but, hey, they playing with great energy and not just a matter of a win, not if. This game, uh, they're going to win this game. All right, well, they're going to win this game, but to win and go deep into the playoffs and go where they win to go and win, it's beyond Steph Curry and KD. Obviously, clay has got to be a factor, Shaq. He wasn't Definitely have to be a factor, and tonight he's locked and loaded, ready to go. Uh, one of the greatest shooters in the game. He's just ready to play right here. You know, he usually stops at the three, but, you know, he's oh, dunk that. Woo. He's dunking it, and right here, he's just waiting. He's no, you know a splash brother going to look for him. Mm -hmm. Great pass right there by Edgar Dollar, and he's ready. This is what he does. You don't take a lot of crazy between the leg dribbles. Again, Why wouldn't you Chuck show Kenny, if you got Nigga Dom? Again, Kenny, he's locked and loaded. He's ready to go. Pop. And when he's going with the other two, I know they're only up, up three right now, but like Chuck said, probably over. Kenny, when there's ball movement on this offense with the Warriors, clearly uh, we know how good they can be. You think about what they've done uh, here in the first half of play. All their trio, big-time scoring. KD coming off his 38-point effort. What would you see? Well, I, I think overall the ability to score easy baskets, that, that's what separates Golden State from everyone in the, in the half court. Most guys can score in transition. Most teams can score in transition easy baskets. But they are one of the few teams in the league or the only team that every time, even while we just watched Houston and Chuck was saying it's one-on-one, one-on-one, those aren't easy baskets that Chris Paul was making or, or James Harden at time. But these are easy baskets that they're able to get by ball movement around as they penetrate pitch. Now, Eager Dollar says, this was an easy shot for him or easy drive. But he says, that's not my role on this team. I'm supposed to be a ball mover and I'm supposed to be a step back. Same thing with Draymond. Draymond looks at him. He says, this is an easy shot for Draymond. He makes three pointers, but he says, no, I'm waiting for the shot we want. And then KD is like, I'm right here. I don't care if it's Anthony Davis. I don't care if it's Sammy Davis. I, any Davis, is, <laughs> it's going to be a bucket from the free throw line with, with uh, KD right there. And again, the ball movement and, the, and finding easy baskets. You hear the looseness with the basketball and then this shot the only one up on defense right now is JaVale McGee so this is an easy shot for KD and they find easy baskets again in transition Andre Iguodala says instead of shooting a three I'm going to get a better shot for the better shooter again he gets over here he goes it to Clay then he gives it back and now you get a dunk and Iguodala gets the easy one they are the master at getting easy baskets more than anyone else. That's what makes them the champs for 2018. Yeah, and as opposed to the one-on-one -on -one play, Chuck, as we look ahead to the next series, you were talking a lot, both of you guys were, that one-on-one -on -one play that we saw with the Rockets, where the Warriors differ. They may hit threes, but they get a lot of open shots because, as Kenny pointed out, that movement. Well, because everybody's involved. When guys are just standing around, first of all, they don't play defense. You know, the Rockets... Their offense dictates their defense, their energy level. It's a totally opposite with this team. But they get everybody involved. And uh, if you don't, if, if you get guys involved, they'll play great defense. But the main thing, ball movement and body movement, they're the best at it. Give AD credit, nothing else. 18 and 10, Shaq, 8 to 13 from the floor in the first half. Yeah, they're hanging in there, you know, with uh, Alvin Gentry and Rondo. You know, guys are not going to just, you know, turn it, turn it in again. If they can just extend this series, who knows what can happen. They're not going to give up. The Warriors are definitely going to have to beat them. They probably will, but he's playing well. Uh, you know, Mr. Holiday's playing well. Now it's only 24 minutes left. They either go fishing or they go back to New Orleans. Both of those are good ideas. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> go, to go, go, go fishing, I'll go to New Orleans. Uh, we got greats on set, but how about a, a great tweeting in? I sure oh, did. I sure <laughs> did, Mr. Russell. Uh, I sure did, Mr. Russell. No doubt. Great Bill. Not Russell. bad company. Greatest big man ever, Chuck. Without question. No question. All right, we come back in the big man of the Pelicans. Keep it going in the series. More to come. Welcome to the American Express Halftime Report. American Express, the official...
We continue on the American Express Halftime Report. CP3 getting ready for Game 5. Trying to get to his first conference final early oh. on. Heat check time for Donovan Mitchell. Mm. Jet 22 in the third quarter. Oh, 22 in the third? Man. Yep. My goodness. Eight out of 11 from that. the floor. CGLP. Got hurt yeah. late, left Chris the game Jackson early. Like performance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was unbelievable. But this guy, oh. he, got a tough shot. He check. He checked shots. Then, this is his bread and butter. You high pick and roll, get to the free throw line and pull up and fade away or step back. Too much CP3 tonight. Since the uh, NBA 41? has been, yeah, yeah, 41. How about this too, Shaq? Since the NBA has been tracking turnovers, first player ever, 40 plus points, 10 assists, no turnovers in a game in the postseason. I did that before. <laughs> Rockets and Dubs, during the course of the season, we've been talking about it. So, Shaq, I'll go to the other end and start with you. How much of a chance are you giving Houston based on what you saw in this last series? I'm really giving them a chance. You know, usually when you move on from series to series based on your opponent, you can raise your level of play. They have the home court advantage. Uh, they can get on a little hot streak like Chris Paul did there in that game. I'm looking forward to the series. I can't really tell before the series, so I'll, I'll know after. Well, the whole world will know after game one and two, but... Uh, to, you know, repeat what Chuck said. I'm hoping it's a, a competitive push-push series. Can I do. I want to see I want to see a great series. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my old teammates, Eddie Johnson, just texted me. He says he's going to take the Rockets. Uh, and I said him, good luck. Um, I, I, <laughs> uh, good luck. I, listen, I hope it's a great series. I would love to see a six, seven-game series, but I have not seen a team. I, this is the only team that can beat the Warriors, the Rockets. This is what we knew was going to happen when we start the season in October, and I can't wait. Uh, Warriors aren't there yet. AD hoping to have something to say about an 18 and 10 in the first half. Can he and Drew Holiday keep things going another day, or will the Warriors close it out? Second half's coming. You've been watching the American Express Halftime Report. American Express, the official card of the NBA.